So let's do the instance items. Now here's uh, where things might get a little bit more complicated. Keep that in mind. So okay. Now, why do we need instance items? If you have two weapons of the same uh, type, so basically these two great swords, and one item it breaks, so you basically have durability, you might have buffs on one item and you might not have on the other and so on and so on, then that means you cannot use the base item itself, you have to create instances of that item which uh, then we're going to have updated those values. Okay, the easy way to do this Well, okay, there's no easy way to do this, but we can have... Hmm. Yeah, okay, so here's the thing. Uh, let me think, let me think, let me think. We need a way, we need a place to store those random items. Okay, we're going to do that inside our own inventory manager. So let's go here. Let's open this, let's pin this, it's already pinned. Then inside the items, let's create a new class which we're going to call runtime item. Okay, we're going to think to think in abstract ways in this. Okay, this is not going to be more behavior, but instead we're going to be creating this runtime item. And by abstract ways, I, I mean that we need a reference to the base item ID. Okay, which can be great sword, whatever. Then we need a base or we need an access to something that's going to be unique. So let's say for this one, we're just going to say durability is at 100. Maybe something else, whatever it is is going to be here then we need the instance id and the instance id is what we're going to be using from now on to basically handle our items okay however because we're going to have to save a few things well not for now but later we're going to have to save all the status for our items and so on and so on which means we're going to have to create a serializable version of this class. For right now, this will pretty much remain the same. So, public class, let's call this item or runtime item saveable. Okay, the reason why I'm splitting this is because we won't be able to save or everything that we have over here because we could just say the the model or the weapon hook for that item so object instance so okay for this one we basically mean we're just going to have this the instance id is not really that need it I think for this to be saved but it will uh, ensure that we have parity between save uh, save games and so on and so on okay as you can see I can't really store in a serializable class well I can but it's not really going to translate into into a binary file so I can, I'm not really going to be adding the game object into a savable class okay so Whenever we're now creating a new item or we're loading an item or so on and so on, we're going to be creating those runtime instances. And for that, we're going to be replacing this now with the runtime 
item. The weapon item refers to the main class, okay, which is this. So we cannot use this anymore or because from this one you should be aiming to the base item and so on and so on. So how are we going to be accessing this without losing our mind? We're pretty much going to say you have your base item ID and all this could just start from inside the constructor of the runtime item. Okay, because you basically won't have any need for to access the base item outside of this class and you won't have any need to access the instance ID either. Okay, so how do we update those? We're going to be passing them on the constructor. Technically, is the instance ID doesn't even need to be a string, it can just be an integer as well, which is just going to be an incremental value. And all it does is basically just say to us, which, uh, yeah, which, yeah, in what order we created this. It's not really, well, of course, we can have instance IDs for other things as well. So, let's say the base item ID will be this, the instance ID, or well, this dot instance ID is going to be this. And then let's create a few shortcuts. We can also get the durability directly from the main item when we create this. But let's say we want to get the weapon item from the runtime item, or we want to get the item itself. Okay, then we're going to have a getter in here, which in turn is going to say, resource or settings, resource manager, get the item, base item ID. Okay, the other thing that we can have is say that we want to get a weapon item because at least for now, mostly we're returning weapon items. So this will save us some time. We're going to do the same thing, but we're going to say get, yeah, get item. Okay, then if item is weapon item, return the item as a weapon item. Okay, otherwise, of course, return null, but you should also throw a debug dot log error requesting a weapon item from an item or can't be cast. So let's say base item ID plus cannot be cast as a weapon item. Okay, obviously this is an error, so you have to fix that or change it. So, okay. So we have now uh, runtime, we have some our shortcuts, which means we can now go and hack it up inside our inventory manager. So everywhere we see a weapon item, we're going to turn that into a runtime item. Okay. And except for the unarmed weapon though. Okay, unarmed weapon and unarmed hook, of course, they have no, we have no reason to be runtime items. You're never going to run out of durability for your fists, at least in a game like this. So we're just going to keep them as they were. Of course, this now creates a lot of uh, uh, errors, which we have to fix. We're going to have to say for every, pretty much everyone, we're going to be accessing from the random item, the weapon item. And this eventually will have zero difference on what we want to do. So when we want to switch an item, we're going to do it like this and like this, same with elf of weapons. Yeah, this needs to be now a random item. Okay, and let's see. 
Not an item. We have to load the weapons with the weapon knight. The L is the runtime item. Uh, load weapon dot weapon item. Okay. Actually, I think we should change the load weapon as well to get. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it like that. We will knight them. Ah, one more thing. To make this slightly faster, so you do not have to go and get this all the time from the same place. Let's uh, open this up. And we can store the weapon item in a local variable and say if weapon item is null. We want item I equals that. Okay. Else return we want item. But I think we are going to get an error either way for this one, so whatever. And toot toot toot. we want item, yeah. Let's delete this one and this one, and we just leave this in here. And of course, we can do the same thing for this one as well, which will always going to be returning an item. So, if the only reason why this wouldn't return an item is, of course, if the item doesn't exist, obviously. Okay, so we eliminate every time we accessing now the weapon item, we don't have to go through the resource manager and so on and so on and so on. Awesome. So back to inventory manager, then for the index, let's see the list now is a weapon item. So let's turn that into the runtime item as well. And we will continue with the same logic we had before. Let's switch this now to this passed the item. This passed the item, but we can just change that to a runtime item. Okay, for now we're going to have some errors for that as well. And as you can see, we can basically move on. This is now switched. Consumables are staying the same. And down here now the anal weapon. Uh, yeah, here it is. That's an issue as well then. We need to change the anal weapon into an actual item. Well, that's a little bit of a problem, but nothing we can fix really. So we're just going to say a runtime item. Random item, okay. Uh, let's say an out weapon. And out runtime. Of course, we can. Well, we'll see how we do about this. Let's just switch this for now. And then here, here. Okay, then let's see, create items from my this, yeah. That's going to be, that's going to need a little bit of a change. And here where we are, where, what we need to be doing. So create item from my this now, not only is going to be creating, well, this now needs to be returning a runtime item, first of all. Okay, then before we add the weapon item or before we do anything really we should say that you're going to create me a new runtime item which is then going to be named the same way as this item or of course the same name as the id and the instance id for the instance id we can store this locally. 
like this as an index and we're going to say instance ID to string the instance ID is just another identifier so we just need to to make sure it's something unique if we increment the instance index from above every time we use it then it will eventually have us unique on everything we do okay then we don't really need to be doing this check to be honest we could just say t dot add the runtime item now and we can handle later where all those are going to take place so right hand weapons Another weapon, yeah, okay. This will be an armed runtime, and this will be an armed runtime as well for that. And let's find the final error, which will be down here. The left item, it can be, yeah, for this one, you're passing the lot weapon or hook, but you pretty much can say instead of the weapon item itself which will you shouldn't really be accessing you could just assign the random item okay then let's see here this is useless now because you can say item is uh, item dot item uh, dot weapon item this is which can go okay then you're passing the item there and then the weapon item this can be renamed to item so we can just say item dot weapon item is unarmed okay and load weapon on item weapon item same with this all this is, is inside the inventor manager of course let's close that let's close that as well and as you can see we have everything but for some error around here which I cannot see but I think it's because of this no let's see where it told us it dropped us down here okay so update quick slot for item we only need access to the item and lot to hunt it get right item dot we want item that's it for this part for this script actually that's not it yeah that's it for the controller as well and the inventory manager let's minimize that we cannot play run as well I'm just minimizing this so we can see where all the errors are okay so that's for when we are interacting target item load weapon dot yeah this needs to change for when we pick up something up because you won't be able to have the pickable uh, the item itself you're going to have to use the target the item id for this okay so let's comment all of them and we're going to say on interact item item settings resources manager get item item id if item then is weapon item load weapon this now needs to be passed as a target item okay so here's where the first call create a runtime item should be and we pretty much we're going to have to do the same thing for uh, the clothes so if item dot is cloth item okay 
Okay, we're going to do the same thing over there. And I think load cloth item, it still needs to be, yeah, it still needs to be an item because, a runtime item because you're going to have your durability and so on and so on. So, on our, let's see, we have our clothes. Well, let's do the weapons first and we'll see for the rest. So for here, we're going to go and say on to our, well, actually, you know what, let's just say we can pass, we cannot, we can just pass the ID for this and handle everything from inside the controller. So let's say load weapon. We're going to say public void load or pick up item. We're going to be having the item ID. Pick up item and we'll see how we handle the rest. Let's go back, however. Uh, where is our, iter our pickable hook? And we're going to say input controller pick up item and we have the item ID. Okay, that's pretty much it for the pickable hook. On the controller then, we can just pass along the, the method because we don't really need anything in here at the moment, at the current moment. But well, of course, we were using the pickup item. We were loading the item directly if it was a weapon item and we can still do that. But let's open up our inventory manager and we have create items from ID. So we basically just need this to be encapsulated, which means we could just say public void, public runtime item, create runtime or create item instance for what item? And we're going to cut this, paste this in here. Then you're going to be returning the runtime as well. We can also put this above here. Resources manager, where is the resource manager? rm.get item. Oh, we are passing the resource manager from here. Well, we can still pass that, okay. Doesn't matter. Something like that. Then you can have here the runtime. Let's say target item. Actually, do we have, no, we can just pass this ID. ID, return runtime item, then we have runtime item, runtime item equals create item instance, IDs, I, and the resources manager. Then just add that in there. Okay, so now we have a method to create item instances, which means uh, we can pick up a random item. We can basically just do this as well here. So we could just say public void pick up item, pick up item with this ID, and which then is going to create a random item item equals create item instance from ID and of course resource manager can just be settings dot resources manager since it's only one and we now have that item which means we can also add it to our main yeah we can just have a list with all our items we have run time item all items or all items picked, whatever you want to call that. All items dot add item. Then in the controller, we're going to just propagate this to 
pick up item item ID. Of course, I could just do this directly from the pickable hook, but it's just easier. Anyway, we use it's going to be the same. Another thing that we can do, if we wanted to, we could say if item dot we want item or yeah, we want item is not null. So it's going to try and cast it as a weapon item, but this might actually return this might actually return a problem. So if it's a weapon item controller, do we have a controller? Yeah, do we have load weapon? Load that as a weapon. That is so. That will be item dot whip on item loaded on the right hand. Oh, that's the runtime right whip on. You can just pass the item then. Okay, okay. So that will do exactly the same behavior we had before. And yeah, let's try this. However, and before we try this, we need to create the unarmed runtime loop. So let's collapse everything and then on start and actually create item instance. I'm going to create create an item instance. I'm going to pass the item instance the ID. I'm going to overload it with the instance ID and the resource manager. So if I'm passing something with the instance ID, it means that we're not going to be bothered with that. We're just going to assign the instance ID. Okay. And yeah, we're going to do it like that. So create item instance then. We can go on start or when we init this. And before we do anything for the unarmed item, as you can see over here, we're going to have to create it. So we're going to say unarmed runtime create item instance yeah we need to pass the ID for now though we can just say unarmed resources manager settings dot resources manager but we also want to pass an instance ID although technically we don't have to because it's still going to assign it so so I guess, yeah, okay, let's not pass that. So we now have an unarmed right runtime without having to worry about that reference. So unarmed runtime then, I'm going to want to assign the item it points to, and that will be, uh, yeah, we need, we're going to need a new call for this. So we could just say weapon and yeah, okay, I guess we could say okay. So here's the thing we can simplify even more. We could just pass the item here, target item. Okay, base item ID, then we don't need this. We only need the instance ID because we could just say item equals target item. And we're going to have we have all the references we need from that one. So that means this is useless now. We can always get this item because it's always going to be assigned. Uh, but the weapon item it's going to be useful. Okay, you can just say if item yeah okay that's more simplified and you won't have to to access the resources manager at all which is far better awesome so let's go back to our inventory manager and we're going to say create item instance uh, with that when we create the item instances we're not going to be passing the items now we're going to be passing their item themselves which also means we don't really need this 
uh, no we do need this but we're going to make an overload method with item which uh, you know what item <laughs> well that's this up to you really since you are going to be creating a new instance index then you know what let's leave that at that I'm just going to delete that and I'm going to be saying uh, this can just be passed can pass the item itself so back to it back to start or in it and here we don't want this we're just going to pass an armed weapon okay so that's pretty much it you're passing the unarmed weapon from the unarmed weapon we can pass the weapon item yeah i think we kind of solve another issue that we could have but i'm not entirely sure yet let's save this and well let's test it out can't really do anything else than that okay so we pretty much have the exact same behavior as we had before which is exactly what we needed but and it's a big but well actually it's not a but it's uh, a natural progression we can go on our inventory and where we were handling our inventory and when we were creating those items from our player profile and let's see where we were using that yeah so as you can see we were getting all the items from our item selector we were saying load all the items in it was just getting the items from our player profile we can replace that to pass a runtime item or an array of random item which of course can then just be a list of runtime items a list and i think that should remain the same but we now have a string of runtime items this is pointless anymore we do not have a list but if of course if item equals null then continue because we might still have empty spaces and load item it means item dot item and actually it means item dot item no you need to pass the string so item dot item dot name we can have a shortcut to this which could just say public string item id okay send in player profile all items to okay let's leave this for now we want pick definition over here item id perfect yeah perfect so we do have the item ids we do have the load item so now if we pass this into our controller uh, if we pass this from our controller actually so do we have a reference to our input manager i don't think so we do need one though let's see how we can do this well one way to do this will be from the settings 
in our managers so let's say public controller or public static controller active player controller since that's going to have all our references to this only trick for that will be on start after we need and all that we could just say settings dot player controller equals controller then on the navigatable group manager on the load items uh, was it on this one on the navigate manager in load items we can say settings dot player controller dot inventory manager dot let's load all the items for now which is all items which means in settings uh, not in settings in the input manager we either have to make it a public list yeah we can just make this a public list or we could just make this public list item item get all items we're going to filter them later so we are going to be passing a type of item and it's going to be returning that as a list but for now we could just say get all items then on the navigate master do this get all items this is a method let's rename it with a capital let's call it get all items of and we're just going to pass null over here so we get all the items one last thing that I would like to do is on my inventory manager I would like to create runtime items at start for everything that we have in our profile so let's say profile we do pass the consumables for we haven't done anything yet for the consumables the consumables are kind of a different story to this because you do not have different instances of the consumable you still have only one well for the most part you don't have different instances of the consumable you only have one which limits on account okay so for example the estus lask of course it's only one but has five uses so it's a different logic there F but for every other item we have on our profile all items dot count we're going to be creating an item instance so say create item instance create item instance profile all items dot yeah just that we're passing the string remember that and settings resource manager that's it so now let's go on our player profile let's see uh, where's our resources resources are here player profile you can see that i have like 10 and let's change them let's delete first of all all of them let's create one and let's say we want to have a great sword and a fire caster and then let's make that four and add a great sword again and let's make that six I'm just going to randomly place them. It would have been best if we just use different uh, IDs and so on. So on. okay, we can start with no weapon at all. Actually, let's do that and see what's going to happen. Okay, but if I go now and select, let's see, something was outside the bounds of the array. It's on the navigatables when we start. Yeah. When we first start a navigatables so if navigatables hmm, okay navigatable group manager navigate i don't know if that didn't load the items oh yeah we didn't load the items so here's the thing we did something wrong we did well somewhat wrong instead of create item instance we should say pick up item for this okay 
and the item of course is going to be profile all items i minimize that so let's see now and voila here it is okay we have great sword two fire casters great sword and fire caster and another great sword okay the reason this is are empty is it's just the icon didn't render because it's not really a, uh, it's just a particle on that prefab so that's why it doesn't render okay and i can select a great sword and now i have the instance of that great sword rather than the yeah rather than the base item itself so how do we know that we actually don't so we can however set this to set them to have a random durability just for now so let's say when we do create a runtime item let's see where's the here it is let's say set a random durability anywhere from zero to a hundred and when we load now a weapon into our controller load weapon just debug log the item dot durability okay another thing that we can pass is instance id item dot instance id uh, which we do not have live but we do need to have access to that especially later so let's rename this to instance id and then let's make this instance id get return instance id okay and close that instance id plus durability plus okay now we're going to, to start with one more weapon of course because we have it selected we already have one but you can see what's happening in here okay i'm going to clear that let's pick this up select that one let's remove the warnings so you now have instance id 9 durability 65 uh, okay we have one error we are not clearing up the previous ones okay we're not clearing those because i think we're calling in it pretty yeah i think we're calling in it a lot of times that's why this is happening otherwise there's no really any uh, reason why it shouldn't why it should this be happening so so this needs to be moved elsewhere this needs to be moved oops what did we cut and this as well needs to be moved elsewhere this is getting called from the inventory manager the init inventory is getting called from the controller when we first start okay inventory manager init let's do a debug log in here let's add the v let's see how we are on time by the way okay we, we did take our time but whatever all the days work i want to see how clean is my player profile uh it's the it, it's still the six we have so 
mm, yeah these are going to be a problem so let's say on the controller on the load the load weapon let's remove this one and just so we see what we're actually doing there and if we, if we indeed call it multiple times let's uncollapse okay so uh, no we don't get this we we're just delete we are just not deleting the other ones okay so the problem was with the inventory and not in here so in the inventor manager on init yeah we'll just leave this over here we don't really need this and uh, this as well so let's go solve this on the inventory on the navigate manager on load items if the item is now continue and load items on slots we do have the parents or prefer yeah we just need a list of created items and we're just going to delete them first it's going to create a few garbage but doesn't matter but will all be working fine now let's hit play okay ah we are still creating those behind so maybe not do it let's say if okay let's keep a list of the actual runtime items that we have so we're going to say if not item is null what we're going to say if item is null yeah of course continue but if uh, runtime or created objects dot contains item well if it does not contain it that is otherwise assign the uh, yeah we do go with the item okay and add the item okay now in uh, in the case that the created objects hmm. okay so we should do it a little bit differently yeah so when we create where we destroy we do not have the method of destroying a random item right now and uh, basically that's when you discard you basically will have to unload the right item as well but I think that's not the case to do this either no I think we had it correct before because that's the only way we can ensure that we can reuse this for different uh, slots so let's do it like that and we're just going to fix the error that popped which was from here and saying get transform because the navigation button is saved from 16 navigatable group manager current navigatable yeah from the current navigatable that's why okay so if 
scan and navigatable is null return then when we are loading the navigate master navigate manager when we are loading the items once we do that current manager where should this be well let's see where we are loading the let's pin this as well and let's check this one where do we assign the current navigatable navigatables zero i from the i navigatable so that's only assigned or no no navigatables navigatable it's assigned on the results as well but we are destroying that navigatable we of course we're going to be creating a new one though so open select item dialog why is this not <laughs> hold on so let's uh I kind of wanted this error though. Let's hit play and let's try to make the error again. Okay. Let's make the error again. Okay. Navigation button. This is kept. Yeah, okay. We are clear. Yeah, see what we've done wrong over here. We have already saved the navigatables that's why we have this issue which means on the navigate manager is it on the navigate manager navigatable group manager or is it on the group manager we're basically creating more navigatables that's why that's the problem Okay, then current navigatable on the select on select current. Where do we assign the current then? Yeah, we assign it from the value on the current navigatable over here, and then on the result if when we navigate. Okay. huh that's a little bit confusing okay so how do we solve this then whenever we are loading the items we have the manager we need to update the navigatable group manager item selector is a specific object for that then we need the current manager to load again yeah we need to do that so in here we need a method that is basically going to do this again so we're going to say public void init navigatable manager okay delete this drop this in here and actually this could just be done on a on a nibble as well but whatever okay then inventor manager not inventor manager navigate manager current manager we need navigatable manager so we're just going to assign again the first the first navigatable okay we're not there yet it's going to assign yeah no what we need navigatable we still we haven't created them yet so they need to be here 
Uh, here's one other thing that we can save on the navigatable manager though. Navigatables, okay. Uh, we can save the target, the target position or from the well okay let's see if this is going to work and we'll worry about selecting them later doesn't matter I think we can also eliminate the times we are calling the item okay now we have the issue that the current navigatable is still null it and that is because let's see where this is getting called from from 52 yeah that's still is getting called from here navigatable zero okay so let's put some breakpoints Let's hit play. And first, let's assign the first one. Then let's go and put some breakpoints. I think we stuck now. Okay, then let's click that and let's see. Load items. We are getting inside the load items. We're going to return, okay. Load items. You were inside the inventory manager. Then you go, okay. Then you go again inside and in here, you're going to destroy any created object that we already have okay that will be six then for its runtime item you have over here you're going to create that parent that will be another six okay let's get out of this method then in here get inside navigatables you have six navigatables and your first navigatable is going to be assigned as well which will be here if current not equals null which is not null it's going to go inside the on the select and I think maybe we are going to have that issue inside the on the select hmm. Yeah, I think that's where this comes from. So let's find the slot prefab or well the navigation button on the select should be I kind of don't like this though, to be honest. So let's see one thing first. First of all, let's see this will only be happening if the player profile is dirty whenever we pick up a new item I mean so let's go on the inventory manager and let's have a flag public bool is dirty okay then whenever you pick up a weapon or pick up an item We're going to be saying is dirty equals true. Okay, at start this will always be dirty. Then that means in the navigate manager, if settings player controller inventor manager dot is dirty, load the items. Otherwise just keep what you already have 
set this to false then load the items you have the init navigatable manager but you're also going to say current you know what on the init navigatable manager the current navigatable I'm first going to say current navigatable or current equals null so you don't have any more references to that and then assign this because we have a property setter it means this will never run so it means the on the select will not run which means it's just going to keep continuing and continuing and continuing let's see how this will turn out but if this doesn't work we are we are we are already over an hour so i'm going to end the part regardless of the results but i think we should be fine okay okay uh, beautiful that actually worked fine so now it will only force a new creation of the of the items yeah of course we are missing one over here we are missing one deselection but that's okay we can live with that for now but yeah we it will only force a new deselection when we pick up an item for example let's say we, go, we want to pick that one up let's see where that is down here we need to assign uh, let's put a great sword another great sword okay switch the game we picked it up and here it is and here's where the problem is still okay The problem is that we are trying to access a navigator navigation button that hmm well why are we are assigning that then let's see where this is getting called from from 53 from 46 okay that's just the navigate current navigatable get transfer transfer C we need to have a check uh, hold on navigatables it's an array so that will be replaced current navigatable navigatables hmm. yeah I'm not so sure about this to be honest current navigatable get transfer the problem is the getter the problem is this one so this there's no reference to this transform so it's it could be returning null for some reason so the, the real question is what exactly do we do with this although I thought that when throwing the a neat method oops do you want to attach that what are the errors oh a neat navigatable manager I thought that this will do it but it doesn't I guess a neat navigatable that's the pick definition for that. Need navigatable. We select. Although, yeah, I don't know. You know what? Let's leave it to this. We'll find it later. We'll fix it later. We are already over an hour. So that's it for this part. We're going to return to it on the next part. And we're going to fix it so as always you know what to do like subscribe and if you like to see more videos more series more of everything then of course consider supporting me a patron so we can keep making all of these nice things we're making i'll see you next time